Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told. Tarot, this is Andrea and I'm here to do your love reading and it will be from now to the end of May 2021 for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's pull your card and see what we get. What is the message for Gemini in terms of love, romance, relationships, please? Angel Spirits, Guides. Now to the end of May 2021, please. Thank you. Okay, Gemini, so I have justice. Getting some level of justice. Can be legal, can be karmic. Can be a decision that goes in your favor as well. Okay, so what do we have for Gemini, please, in terms of love, romance, relationships? Okay, two of coins in the challenge position. Advice from Spirit, we have the Nine of Swords, Gemini Energy, and yeah, I mean, that can be a card of justice as well, the Ace of Swords. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message. I've got the Ace of <laughs> I've got the Ace of Swords here as well in the challenge position. It's appearing twice, so it feels for some of you, the clouds are parting, you're seeing the blue sky in a situation, getting clarity where you need to get clarity. Could be with some decision or choice that helps you, you know, focus on that new beginning. So we have the Nine of Swords with the Three of Cups. And the Ten of Swords here. Bottom of the deck, I love the Empress energy. Um, she is master number three as well, which is always beautiful. So Gemini, the message is that for some of you, you might be getting some justice. This, like I said, it can be to do with legal systems, government institutions, a decision that you're waiting on. Um, whatever this is for you, it feels in this situation, it's either within a relationship, you know, this can be to do with whatever the situation is that you need justice on within a relationship it can also be something affecting your relationship as well um ace of swords is generally the victory the success the breakthrough uh, like i said the clouds part and you see the blue sky there is just the mental clarity and it's because something happens uh, that enables you to see the truth make a decision have a breakthrough get clarity some kind of clarifying energy here that is bringing justice your way so it feels really beautiful But it feels in this situation, some of you, um, because it's a challenge position, there can be, you don't know how something's going to play out yet. You haven't got the clarity you need. And it can well be, you know, with the two of coins in terms of opening up your life, in terms of making decisions that you want to make. Um, it, it just feels like I'm definitely getting this energy of just... You know, it can be a card of just having a lot on your plate, dealing with a lot of different things, uh, juggling situations, you know, which you're very good at anyway. But it, it just feels in this situation there's a lot to deal with and you haven't got the clarity that you need at this point in time. But it feels like the clarity is coming your way. The, tr the truth, the decision, the breakthrough, call it what you will. You've certainly been through stress, anxiety, worry, sleepless nights here. I mean, the Nine of Swords isn't an easy energy. You know, we imagine monsters. You can see the devil appearing in that window. Uh, because when we allow ourselves, uh, allow the negative to dominate us, to prey on our mind, our mind wanders. It distorts the reality that we're in and it makes things ten times worse. So it's a card of distortion and illusion, the Nine of Swords. And it's what the mind can do. But it feels like something is coming your way that will allow you to bring closure in a situation. The Three of Cups is a celebratory energy. Celebration is nigh. And it's interesting because the Nine of Swords is one less than the, 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 the Tenth Sword, the Final Sword. And it feels where you haven't had clarity, you know, that sword hasn't quite appeared yet. It's appearing in your future outcome. So the clarity is coming your way that will end a situation of pain, hurt, 
betrayal, loss, call it what you will, but something that's caused you a lot of stress, anxiety, worry. And this is a card of celebration, emotional support, um, but also closure. The, window, the, the winter is over, the spring is here. So I've already gone into this, this card a little bit, Gemini, uh, near future energy. We have, you know, the Ten of Swords, the finally, the completion. It has been tough. You know, this is not an easy energy, but this is the Sun in Gemini energy, interestingly enough, where you have the opportunity to break free of whatever these ten swords represented by cutting cords, you know, and that's what this sword is doing for you. It's bringing you the clarity, the breakthrough, the decision, you know, the blue sky that you've been looking for. And it's allowing you to embrace some kind of ending and new beginning here. Now, you could be getting some money, you know, the Empress is a good card of abundance coming your way, so there could be some payout coming here. Um, like I said, it's either something in your relationship or something that's affected your relationship. Uh, but the Empress is new abundance, nurturing, uh, growth card. She is the promise of something new, so she can represent new beginnings. She's very good in terms of uh, new love romance relationships or renewed love romance relationships. She's also very good in terms of money, career, finances. So, you know, new abundance coming your way. Um, the promise of something new, sowing new seeds for your future. But there is something that is bringing clarity. It feels like it, there could be some decision or judgment or clarity that you're getting on a situation. And it feels like you've had a lot to deal with here, Gemini, and you've been waiting for this breakthrough to come your way. And it is being given to you by God, the divine, the universe. And the Ace of Swords is a card of honor. It's, it's a sword of honor. It's, and that's why I'm telling you, it's a sort of, it's to do with justice. It's to do with truth. It only deals with truth, no matter what the truth is. It feels the truth will prevail. The truth will set you free, ready to embrace new abundance in your life. Uh, so very nice energy indeed, ready to sow new seeds for your future. So some kind of decision choice I'm definitely getting in this energy. Uh, moment of clarity, epiphany, you know, whatever this is for you, it feels you'll be getting some kind of justice this month um, that will allow you to embark on a new beginning in some way, shape or form, embrace new possibilities. Wow. Big energies for some of you and you are really appearing very, very heavily. Power of air, we've got Gemini, Mars in Gemini, we've got, you know, the sun in Gemini. You are appearing very heavily in your reading, Gemini. Okay, final message for Gemini, please, angels, spirits, guides. Otter initiations, be open through this transitional time. Yeah, lovely energy. And I'm going to pull one more. Any other message for Gemini, please? Any other message for Gemini? I did tell you, didn't I? There is some abundance coming your way. For some of you, there is new abundance, most definitely. Koi carp, abundance. Move with the flow of abundance around you and through you. And I'm definitely feeling that energy, Gemini. It feels very beautiful. So yeah, either, like I said, something that is within your relationship that you've been dealing with, or something that has affected your relationship from the external, caused you sleepless nights worried. It definitely feels there is a victory, a success, something will soon be over in May and will allow new abundance to come into your life. I love the energy. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful, a wonderful month for you, Gemini, and I will see you next time. Thank you.